Hey guys, it's Denise from LumaHead.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to loom knit a super easy triangle shawl using any extra large loom you have, round or long. We're going to start with a real simple cast on. First, secure your working yarn and then your first peg, you're going to wrap it twice. This is called a yarn over cast on and you're going to knit off. Believe it or not, that's it. That's your cast on. Now it's time to start the increases. You're going to increase with the empty peg to the right. You're going to do a figure eight with your working yarn. It's important so let's see it again in slow motion. Take the working yarn behind the empty peg on the right and do a half wrap to bring the yarn behind the peg on the left. Half wrap that peg. Now you're going to have two loops on the peg that's on your left. You're going to knit off. In this case it's peg one. And then go to your right, wrap and knit off that peg. After knitting the last peg on the right, you're going to increase on the right doing that figure eight. It's going to leave you two loops on that second peg. You're going to knit off and you're heading left so you're going to wrap and knit. And now when you turn around and you're heading right again, you're going to skip that first peg for a clean edge wrap and knit the next peg on the right, wrap and knit the last peg on the right, and now you have uh, an empty peg and you're going to do a figure eight with that last peg and the one to the left and you're going to knit off and then wrap and knit the next peg to the left and wrap and knit, keep wrap and knitting until you get to that last peg on the left which is peg number one. Now you're going to turn around, you're going to skip the first one because you want a clean edge and you're going to start with wrap and, and knit off, wrap and knit off, and wrap and knit off on that last one to the right and now next to it is an empty peg and you're going to do that figure eight. Now you're going to wrap and knit, wrap and knit, and you keep going all the way to peg one you wrap and knit till you get to peg one. After a few rows, remember to release your working yarn from the anchor peg. You're going to have a few loose loops when you increase and your stitch should look nice, open, and a bit lacy. Now let's keep knitting. Remember that you're knitting flat, going back and forth, and always increasing on the right. Okay, it's time to decrease. To decrease, you're going to take the loop that's second to last and move it over to the left. Now you have two loops on that peg. And so you're going to knit off. And then you're going to take the last loop on the last peg and move it over to the left and tighten your yarn and now you're going to start knitting back from that last peg you're going to start knitting back to peg one remember that when you turn you skip the first peg As always, after you reach peg one, you're going to skip that peg because you're turning around to uh, knit again towards the right and you're aiming for that last peg again. Here's an empty peg and now we want to move this one. Take the loop from the second to last peg and you're going to move it over to the left. Mm -hmm. 
knit off. Tape the loop off the last peg and move it over to the left. Tighten the working yarn. Skip the last peg and start knitting back to the first peg. Repeat the process until you have no more loops on your pegs. Once you're down to just two pegs, then move that second to last over to the last one and knit off. Cut off the working yarn. Feed the working yarn through the last peg. You, my friend, are done. Weave in your ends and block your shawl if you want to. From here on out, it's all optional. <laughs>